Hi, me again. I thought I'd just go over some 3D shapes with you. We Remember we did a little bit in class um, before we broke up? I think it was after Christmas, so it wasn't that long ago. I've put some activities on your learning log. So one of them, well, one of them is 2D shapes. You've got to look for the pirates, the shapes in the pirate picture, the 2D shapes. And you remember our 2D shapes? Grow squares our rectangles, our triangles and our circles. Those are the ones we practice and we have, we did do a little bit on um, a pentagon, but only a little bit. Now, I'm not gonna go with 2D shapes because we've done an awful lot on 2D shapes. So I wanted to go with 3D shapes. And in your learning log, I've put um, one activity or two activities that just sort of lay, cut out and put the name of the shape, match the shape. So. Um, we call it cut and paste. So you put it together, look for the shape and get mummies and daddies or nannies to read out um, the word and then you've got to match it to the shape. And then another activity, and then I have put a few of these pictures in, is to colour some of the 3D shapes. You use the key, the colour key on the side and colour the shapes. So for instance a cone, it may be green and you've got to find the cones in the shape and colour them in green or a cuboid, which I'll show you in a minute, may be blue. You've got to find cuboids in the picture. And then the, another one I put down is to go on a 3D shape hunt. What I want you to do, because it's pirates is our topic, I want you to make a telescope, and that's in your learning log as well. So find, there's different ways of making a telescope. Look for a telescope and I want you to make it and then go around with your telescope like a pirate, a herbertus. Go around looking if you can find any 3D shapes in your house. And you may need to look in the cupboard. There's quite a lot in the cupboard. So let's go through them. Now we our main ones. Oh, first one, this one. This is called, look closely. And we've done this. So it's all work we've done. I'm not introducing anything new. I'm just revisiting because that's what we do in reception. We learn about it and then we revisit it again to make sure you know it so this is called what shout it out if you know it's got let's help you now it's got one two round sides and then this one is called a curved side this is a round side like a circle circle two circles and a curved side what's it called it's called a cylinder and you say that cylinder and we did I think you'll be able to find lots of cylinders if you go with your telescope I think you might be able to find lots of cylinders in your cupboard especially in your food cupboard now another one we did was a does anyone know what this one is shout it out if you do it's got let's check one two three four five six sides and each side is exactly the same length just like a 2d shape can you see that 2d shape what sh 2d shape is exactly the same size each side exactly the same that's right a square so this cube is a cube has got six square sides and can you see that's a square, isn't it? But this is a cube because it's called a solid, isn't it? Do you remember we talked about solid and flat shapes? I don't know if I've got my flat shapes. I wish I had. Let me see. Let me get my, see if I've got my bag. Yeah. Now, these are my flat shapes. Let's see if I can, these are my flat shapes. Let's see if I can find one, one shape. Oh fairly flat isn't it this one so this is my flat this is my square and that's a flat shape but can you see the difference with the cube it's got a square four sides all the same but this is a solid shape so look at this that is a flat shape so 2d shape that's sort of the r correct language for it 2d or we call it a flat shape so can you see that's got a flat, sh that's got a circle on um, one of his faces, one of his sides. But this one is a solid shape, but this one is a flat shape. Can you see the difference? Solid, you can sort of hold on to it. 
Now, so that's the difference. So this one, what was that one called again? Cylinder. And this one was a cube. Now, what about this one? Hmm. Looks a bit like a square, doesn't it? Or a cube. But can you see? These sides are not all the same length. Can you see? Can you see? If you look here, that's got two long sides and two very short sides. You think what that's called? Good. So basically, let's find mine. Right, this is your flat shape. It's got two long sides and two short sides. What's that 2D shape called? A rectangle. That's a rectangle. And this one has a rectangle on it. It's a bit strange this one because it does look, it's got a square as well. But we call, oh, let me show you. This one might be better. Oh, both of them are the same. They are called... Cuboids. So this is a cube. It's made up of all square size. And these are cuboids. They're both cuboids because they're both made up with rectangular sides. Long, too long, too short. So they're cuboids. Now, another shape we looked at. Oh, I wish I had one of these. What do you think that is? It's got a circle one circle face and it's got one sort of curved face you see and we looked at these shapes didn't we whether they would roll Do you remember we, we were sorting looking at different criteria what happened to the shapes and we looked at if they would roll remember this one went round in a circle do you know what this is called i have my ice cream in an ice cream cone that's right and then the last one well there's two more. This one, we don't really need to learn this one, but I thought I would give you a little challenge. We have talked about it. What shape is on the bottom? Four sides, all the same. One, two, three, four. That's a square, but if I turn it this way, it's got triangular sides. Can you see? Triangular, which is three sides. It's like a pyramid, isn't it? So we call it a square based pyramid square base pyramid and my last one it's a little bit of a problem it's broken look I don't know what happened but if i hold it together you might be able to see this shape has only got one curved side just one one curved side you know what it is it's a tricky word just one do you remember we have to push pop our teeth in <gasps> Sphere, sphere, that's a sphere, a sphere. It's like a ball, isn't it? One curved side. Now, when you go round today or this week, no rush, whenever, and you're looking for your 3D shapes, you've got some worksheets to finish, and then you can look for, hunt for them around the house or when you go outside. I had a little hunt today, so having my breakfast. What did I find? Now, I want you to tell me Send me a message. What shape is my breakfast cereal? Can you see? What 3D shape is this? I had a little spy around my kitchen. What shape is that? Oh, it's got two long sides. One, two, and shorter sides. Two shorter sides. And it's a solid, so it's a 3D shape. It has rectangles in its shape. I wonder what it looks like. Then I went for another little hunt around and I found, love a little hot chocolate, don't we? We have no bedtime story. What shape is this? Two circle faces and one curved. And then I found an even bigger one for my biscuits. So what shape did I find? What shapes? Look, even though they, one is big, one is small, they're the same. 3D shape. Let me know what you find. I gotta go, my time's gonna run out. I'll read you a story tonight and I'm gonna start ringing you this week so I can't wait. Take care. Au revoir. See you tonight.